Hey everybody, um, I wanted to go over something really quick. I have a flask app here and uh, something I was finding hard to find online was how to call a sum total on a column. Now I probably have not done this the best way, uh, most efficient way, but I've done it in a way that is fairly easy and it works for me and if it helps you then it helps. Um, ignore these two values here, uh, this 12 and 55, they're hard coded in right now. Uh, these two uh, are actually tied to my database. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to show everybody, we're going to make a quick just fill order here for uh, Ted, Ted Stun, sure. And uh, we'll put in a fake phone number and we'll say that his order is worth $100 and it's going out um, on the 21st. Um, Still got some editing to do on this form, but we create the ticket. And I don't have my routes set up to redirect and everything right this second. But we'll see that this will automatically pull up. We have one order with a hundred dollars, and everybody's like, "Okay, that's all well and good." So, I, what I was talking about was the sum of the columns. So let's put in Bill Billing Squire, and we'll give him a phone number as well. And we'll say that his order is worth five hundred dollars, uh, going out on the twenty-first um, at four forty-five. So we'll create that ticket. So now we've got two. So this should tell us that we have two total orders totaling six hundred dollars. Which will, again, this is just a, a DB browser for uh, SQLite, uh, and you'll see that it pulls it up here. Six hundred dollars. There's two orders. Um, so the way that I've done this uh, is, again, I'm using a SQL Alchemy. Um, I've set, in my view, I've set working data to go to the customer table and query everything. Just give me all my stuff because I have multiple things that I need to look at. I don't want to make multiple queries. I just want to make one query and then use that data. Um, and then what I've done here. Yeah, you'll see the two hard-coded ones right now, but I've made an empty list for sales list. And that has me a simple for loop saying that for sales and working data, go ahead and assign those to I for the ticket total. And then in the sales list, just insert in the zero position or the, fir the very first position because it, do it doesn't matter what position they're in. Uh, so go ahead and just put them in there. So it builds the list out for me. And then uh, I set the sales list equal to the sum of sales list. Right, so I just add all those numbers together. Um, now, I've made some rules here uh, because for various reasons, I don't want to adjust the size of this box to expand with this number. Uh, so once you get to the thousands or the millions mark, uh, it does just a little bit of editing for you. Um, so like if this goes up to one, let's see. So if this goes up to, if this goes up to like 10,000, for example, let me write those changes. That 600 will flip over to 10K for you. Um, and then if we added another zero and wrote those changes, uh, it'll go up to 100,000. And then you'll finally, you know, so forth and whatnot, you'll be able to flip over um, to the millions mark. One point million and then Yes, it does all of the, the math for you. Thanks, Python. Appreciate that. If you change this to just kind of see how that works. So 1.5 million. So I still got some, some adjusting to do to get this uh, where I want it. Uh, but the point here is that you can see that it does indeed do the sum total of columns uh, basically by putting them in lists and then doing the math on them and returning their value. Um, and I've done the same thing down here for the order count, just, you know, for order in the working data, um, just go ahead and grab the order ID, um, and go ahead and insert them into the blank list and then give me back the length. Um, you know, uh, I, again, not sure if this is the best way to do it, uh, or the most Pythonic way or what have you, but it was one of the easier ways for me to kind of figure it out on my own. Um, and if it helps somebody or at least points you, get you in the right direction, then, uh, you know, so be it. Uh, if you have a better way to do it, go ahead and just tell me I'm dumb in the comments and explain, uh, how I should have done it, uh, the quote right way. All right. Until next time. Thanks guys.